welcome back children how are you all hope you all are doing well do you know children today morning i got up at 6 am and i went out and uh, do you know it was so misty and also so cold and suddenly what have i get inside okay and around 8 o'clock i came out of my house house and that time it was pleasant then now it's cloudy outside why is this happening like this i will tell you listen children a day can be sunny windy rainy stormy pleasant or cold this condition of a day is called weather and do you know the weather of a day changes time to time i told you before when i got up it was very misty and also cold when i came out of my house and i saw it was sunny out there it was very pleasant that time so the the condition of a day it will be changing from time to time hour to hour and also day to day so that's what happens today this condition of a day is called what weather the condition of a day is called weather and children you do one thing i'm going to give you one activity you have to observe a day from morning till night and you have to note down the weather hour to hour and you have to tell me during our interactive session okay and children in which season are we in now yes right now we are in winter season and what do you mean by a season i will tell you seasons when we have same weather conditions for a long period it is called a season and what is a season when we have same weather condition for a long period or two or three months it is called a season and do you know a year is divided into seasons based on the pattern of changing weather yes and seasons are caused how seasons are caused by the earth being closer or farther away from the sun tell me children how many seasons do we have mainly we have five season what are they summer monsoon autumn winter and spring do you know in our country for us there are three main season that is summer season winter season and also rainy season so these are the different types of seasons first we are going to discuss about spring season ha huh? it is a short season do you know which comes just before summer season and during this time the weather is pleasant and also it is a time of beauty as flowers of all kinds bloom in spring and trees grow new leaves and plants grow new shoots do you know we celebrate holy vishu during spring time next we are going to discuss about another season name summer season what games and activities do you take up during summer time maybe cricket you like to play outdoor isn't that you have to think and give me the answer during our interactive session now let's listen to me now you have to listen to me summer season comes after the spring season and the days are sunny and hot we will be using fans and air conditioners to keep ourselves ourselves cool isn't it during the summer time what type of clothes do we prefer to wear during summer time yes cotton clothes to keep our body cool in the season we prefer wearing cotton clothes 
Have you ever wondered from which type of material is used to make cotton clothes? It's cotton balls from cotton plants. How these cotton plants are converted to threads through spinning. This thread called yarn is used to make cotton cloth. Do you know the story of Sleeping Beauty? How did she fall into deep sleep? Yes, she pricked her finger on the spinning wheel which was used to make yarn out of cotton balls. Now, what do you like to eat in summer? I like to eat lots of ice creams and to drink refreshing juices. I know we love to eat mangoes, watermelon and ice creams during the season. We have to keep our body hydrated all the time during summer. The next season we are going to discuss is rainy season otherwise called as monsoon season. It rains very often in the season, isn't it? And we use umbrella, gum boots, raincoat on these days. What do you like to eat in rainy season? We like to eat everything warm or everything hot like soup, tea, coffee, hot chocolates and uh, uh, like what warm pakodas everything isn't it? During this time everything looks fresh and green as the rain washes away all the dust and dirt. That's all about rainy season. Next season we are going to discuss is about autumn season. The autumn season is a short season that comes after monsoon. Some trees shed all their leaves during this season and the weather is neither too hot nor too cold. But we will be wearing some woolen clothes. And do you know the leaves of some trees change its colors to brown or orange in autumn season? Which festival do we celebrate during autumn? We celebrate Diwali during autumn time. Next season we are going to discuss is about winter season. Do you know we are in the beginning of winter season? So winter season comes after autumn. During the season cold wind blew. It also snow in some places. In the mountains and all snowfall will be there. During this time in during winter time what type of clothes we wear? Yes, I told you before we wear woolen clothes. From where do we get woolen clothes? Yes, from sheep, yak and goat. Do you know the hair of these animals are spun into woolen thread and this thread used to knit woolen clothes. And one more thing, which festival do we celebrate during winter time? Christmas, yes, I love Christmas. That's my favorite festival. Do you like Christmas? And do you know which is my favorite season? My favorite season is winter season. And what is yours? You have to tell me why that season is your favorite and what type of clothes you prefer. Huh? We were discussing about clothes, isn't it? Why do we wear clothes? That's an important question, isn't it? We wear, why do we wear clothes? We wear clothes to protect us from heat, cold, rain, dust and also from insect bites. They also makes us look smart and perfect, isn't it? And what is your all time favorite cloth? Do you like to wear jeans, t-shirt or shorts and t-shirt or um, salwar kameez or gagra choli? You have to tell me. Huh? 
Now we are going to learn about the kinds of clothes worn in India. We know that people of our country wear different types of clothes. You can see in our textbook itself. Look at this picture. The people from di different states and are they all wearing the same dress? No. Each people of the respective states they are wearing different different types of clothes. Now let's see Punjab. The people of Punjab wear colorful clothes and the women wear salwar, kurta, kammis and also dupatta. Dupatta. While the men wear kurta with lungi or pyjama and turban. turban. Next, in West Bengal, generally men wear dhoti, kurta, while women wear saris. Now the next state, Rajasthan. People of Rajasthan like to wear colorful dresses, colorful clothes. The common dress worn by the women are sari, choli, choli means blouse and, and also they like to wear gagra, choli with odini, odini means the dupatta. And the traditional dress, the traditional dress of men include dhoti, angraki and pagdi, pagdi means turban. Now move to the next state, Assam. In Assam, men generally wear dhoti and a shirt while women wear mekla chador. Do you know in places like Kerala and Rajasthan where it have hot climate, people prefer to wear cotton clothes and people living in the mountains and, and hilly regions like Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, they wear woolen clothes to keep themselves warm because it is too cold out there. So that's all about the different kinds of clothes uh, worn in India. Children, when you are coming to school, what type of clothes you wear? We wear uniforms, isn't it? Just like us, just like you and me, some people wear special clothes when they go to work. Like policemen, firefighter, their clothes are with the clothes, that type of clothes, that special clothes is known as uniform. So people of different profession wear different clothes. Even a doctor, he wear a different special clothes and a chef, he wear a special clothes. Even a pilot, he also wear a special clothes. So that special clothes is known as uniforms. People of different professions wear different uniforms, isn't it? So that's all about this chapter. Both chapter we have finished. So here, here we have learned about different types of seasons, the clothes we wear during each seasons, and um, that un about uniforms we have discussed, and uh, about different kinds of clothes worn in India, and the materials needed to needed for making clothes. So that's all about this chapter, children. Study well. Read the textbook after watching the video. Huh? If you're having any doubt, here we will discuss during our interactive session. Read thoroughly the textbook and try to do the textbook exercises as well. So, study well. Stay safe at home. Take care. Bye.